Gulag. Sorry about the minor inconvenience there, folks. We had technical difficulty. Our computer shut off for some reason. <coughs> We're back here at Henryville. Score is now 50 to 43. Tiger lead by seven. 252 left to go in the game. And number 10 with the ball. Elijah Weeks. Three-two zone by the Tigers. Over to number 22, Bailey Riser. In to his brother, Cody. Cody puts it up for a short layup. 51-45. And he's going to call a full time coach. Is it faster now, Patrick? It's actually working pretty darn fast right now. There's another great band right there. A little bit of hay music. We have a working scoreboard for TSPN. Tigers up by six. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. <coughs> we have a working scoreboard now, Brady. Oh, it looks nice and fancy. It's just like the old one, but this one is so much faster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brian Money with the ball over to Needler. Needler back to Money. Looks at Hodge, triple team. Needler, Money. Money drives and it's gonna be a push by number 22, Bailey Riser. His third personal foul, team's 10. Ryan Money to the line for two. Off the rim on his first shot. Excuse me, I gotta take a drink here. Yep. And sinks his second shot. Elijah Weeks with the ball. Over to number 40, Riser. Riser to his brother, Riser. Back to Weeks. Weeks drives wide open. And a swish for Weeks. And Money down on the court. Getting up a little slow. He's smiling about that. And that's not a happy smile. That's a sm smart smile. And that is an intentional push by Elijah Weeks. That is his fourth personal foul. That is two players on Henderville right now that is in foul trouble. <coughs> tonight. Hodge misses his first free throw shot. Tigers struggling on their free throws after halftime here, really, Brady. Yep. Misses his second shot off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Davison. Davison back out to Hodge. Hodge to money fakes. Face again, back to Hodge. Cross court pass to Davison. Davison to Money. Oh. Money in the Mitten. Mitten to Hodge. Over to Money. 
Back to Hodge, Davison, money. Fake, fake again to Davison, to Needler. Heavy defense, double team by Henryville, and that's going to call a timeout for Cuthersville. Brady, I don't recognize this song. That's a fight song, I know that. I don't recognize it. Is that Kentucky's fight song? That has to be. Folks, if you recognize that fight song, which I think it's Kentucky or Michigan State, send me a text, if you know what it is, to 812 521-5080, if you know what that fight song was. There's no prize involved, I'm just curious if it is Kentucky's or not. No. My mom's over here typing up Michigan State in her phone getting ready to text me. Not sure what we're doing, but we're back here. Jacob Patrick, you've ball. gotten a text. Is, somebody says Michigan State. I still think it's Kentucky. Kentucky's more important than Michigan State. Big Ten's a week tournament. Talking to an IU fan over here. Tigers in the double bonus with Hinderville in the bonus. <coughs> and number 24, Landon Guthrie is going to be fouled out for Hinderville. Landon Guthrie is a junior. They're going to bring in number 34, Brandon Vaughn. And Money misses his first free throw shot. Tigers really having a tough time making their free throws at the end of the game here. 48 seconds left, 52 to 47. This is a knee knocker. Makes his second shot. 53 247. Number 34, Vaughn with the ball over to Elijah. Elijah gives the ball to number 22, Riser. <coughs> That's going to be a push on number 32, Jacob Davison. His second team's 10th. Second hockey. That's not it. And number 10, Elijah Weeks is going to be substituted by number 12, Jacob Janik. And they're not going to let us put our subs in here. Officiating equals terrible. Put it as a bad call, Brady. Okay. I'll mark that down. And that There's is a rebound the by Grayson Barnes. 978th. Let's call a foul here, bad ref. Bad call. Over to Money. Money puts it up in the air. And Grayson Barnes is going to break it down. Now we're going to call a foul. And Dr. Love has a voice. <laughs> Voicemail of 9,784. <laughs> I am sure we haven't got 9,784 good and bad calls put together <laughs> all season, Brady. Exactly. They're just all bad. Uh, 
That's what you say, terrible. And number four, D, Cody Reiser has four fouls. That are That is two players that are in foul trouble for Hinderville, and one of them fouled out. So that's three right now. They're struggling with three starters, Brady. I'm still curious about that fight song, folks. If you do know what it is, send a text message to 812-521-5080. we give you a shout-out on the air if you know the song. <laughs> <laughs> and number 34, Brandon Vaughn puts up the ball for a deep three. 50 to 54 here at Hindenville with 24 seconds left. <laughs> close game, Brady, close game. <laughs> Ready? I tell you what, the best thing about coming here tonight is watching the band director for Henryville. She's a dancer. She does it and dances. She's got it all. I like how they stop and come back in it, Ready? I tell you what, I like a nice high school band. I do. I wish we could have played at Orleans this year. No, Patrick, you don't wish we played at Orleans. Also, we'd like to uh, recognize Subway. Eat Fresh, our sponsor back in Crothersville. Home of the $5 foot long. Actually, Patrick, that started actually today. Yeah. Uh, all this month you can get a any foot long for $5. Speaking of foot long, $5 foot longs, whatever, of that, I have met Jared before from Subway. Well, that's pretty cool, Patrick. I have a picture with him and his autograph on a Subway napkin. And you know what's even cooler, Patrick? What's cooler than a $5 foot long and meeting Jared at Subway? I met John Kyle Perry. What's cool about that? And I have about mm, seven or eight basketballs that are all signed by him. Well, they're uh, really not worth much right now considering they're not ranked, Brady. Well, I don't have any anymore. I sold them all last year for about 900 bucks a piece. That's what you should have. I was a smart man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I didn't sell them. I still got all of them. Now, if we had any Mike Krzyzewski balls, I tell you what, that right there makes money. Greatest coach in the history of college basketball. Also the coach of Team USA. That's telling me something right there. Bob Knight. And IU fan over here saying Bob Knight, Bob Knight. Good Lord, how many chairs are we going to keep on throwing here? Yeah, how many chairs are we going to throw? <laughs> How many chairs are we going to throw? For what? For Bob Knight, how many chairs are we going to throw? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment by the IU fan about the chair throwing. There was a little old lady that was sitting across the other side of the court, and the lady kept saying, Mr. Knight, Mr. Knight. And, Ms. and Bob Knight was standing over here coaching, standing up like Greg does up and down the court, you know. Coaching his team to a national champion, and the little lady says, Mr. Knight, Mr. Knight, if you're not going to use that chair, can I use it? Oh, okay. Well, he says, sure, and he threw the chair, <laughs> slid the chair across the floor to her and says, there you go, ma'am. I'm sure that's exactly what it was about. I mean, the bad call on that, it just, that bad call must have just happened or something. He didn't yeah. think anything of it. Oh, no. He was like, oh. Well, that poor sweet old lady over there needs a chair. Never oh. mind the bad call. Oh. We actually have a uh, text message here, and that song is the Notre Dame Victory March. I'm not sure who it is because their name is not in my phone. 
Let's find out. And the Tigers win. And here we go once again with the Notre Dame victory march. Well, Brady, I sent him a text back asking who it was. I know they're watching for sure. And folks, we're adding up our unofficial results. Adding up our unofficial results here at the TSPN staff table. We'll be back right after this. Everybody, welcome back to TSPN Tiger Sports Programming Network on iHi.com, the leader in Crothersville High School sports. If you're just now tuning in, the Tigers have won tonight's game 58 to 53 here at Henryville. Now we're going to give you some unofficial results from the TSPN staff. Compliments of Elisa Swayze. First off for Henryville. Elijah Weeks with nine points. Tyler Colley's the top scorer, <clears throat> excuse me, for Henryville with 22. Bailey Riser with three. Landon Guthrie with six. Braden Vaughn with three. And Cody Riser with 10. The Tigers scoring spread throughout the team. Jimmy Needler with 13. Gene Hodge with 14. Grayson Barnes with 11. Tyler Banks with nine. Brian Money with six. Caleb Mitten with three. 
The Tigers had a total of 58, 18 in the last quarter. 53 for Henryville with 21 in the last quarter. A little bit better run by the Henryville in the last quarter, but what helped a lot for the Tigers was the third quarter when it was 17-9 run. Well, the Tigers played a good game today. Brady, do you have anything to say about the game? And the shout out goes to Ron Albertson. I think I pronounced that right. For knowing the Notre Dame March song. Well, he's an IU fan, but Brady over here is Kentucky, but we all know where the best is at, and that's Duke. Proud Duke fan right here. Go Big Blue. That is right. Amen. Go Cats. That's the end of the broadcast. We are the real Big Blue Nation, Brady. Enough of college sports. Congratulations to the Tigers on their win here at Henderville. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by TSPN, the leader of Crowsville High School Sports. I would like to thank everyone at home at, at home for tuning in on our number one sponsor, iHi.com. Without this program, we would not be able to stream live in your homes. I would like to recognize Ms. Cheryl Narrett, our Crowsville Junior Senior High School Athletic Director, and Mr. David Schill, our Junior Senior High School Principal, for giving the TSPN staff permission to broadcast Tiger Basketball to all Crowsville followers. I would also like to thank Henryville for providing us with the space and technical abilities for making us able you to bring making us able to bring you the games fast, announced, and on time. A few other people I'd like to recognize that made this broadcast possible tonight are Phil Stahl, Mark Bowman, Logan McCarty, Chad Wilson, Drew Markle, Greg Kilgore, Elisa Swayze, Subway, and Five.